The Emacs documentation is pretty awesome. It has a lot of information about the functions uh, and it can tell you other things. Let's look at the documentation for org agenda. Here it tells you right here what the key binding is and you can click on this to see what the uh, the link where the code is and you can see the syntax here where it has backtick uh, this command in red and, and then quote those get rendered down here as links and you can follow those and see what they where they go and see what the variables are and you can find your way through uh, all of these all of these things. What we're going to do today is look at a way to get that kind of information into uh, org mode, uh, especially for documentation about Emacs or about uh, modules that, that you're working on. So it turns out you use the syntax backslash backslash and then brackets with a command. And if you run this, it gives you the output control C A. And that is the, the command that Emacs knows to run org agenda. So what I want to do is, is develop some regular expressions that match uh, syntax like this or match syntax like this the back uh, back slat, back tick and quote and make the text in here have some properties that tell me about it uh, so that we can more easily discover what's going on so we're going to do that with font lock we just create a function that finds the next Emacs key binding syntax or or command syntax and then we'll put some properties on the matches that do what we want so let's start here. I'll use this Rx package. It's kind of easier to write regular expressions some ways. Here we're going to match anything that starts with this string, a group of one or more characters that's not a, a bracket, and then a closing bracket is the command syntax like this. And we put this in a group so that the command is actually going to be in group number one. Now we write a function that just searches forward uh, from the current point to match that regular expression and make sure that the match that's found is actually a bound function. And once it finds that, then we get the beginning and the end of the match. We get the match itself, and the command is the first group in the match. And then we'll define a uh, function here. This is going to be a variable called describe function with the value of this lambda function that just runs describe function on the actual command. We'll make a second find function that's going to find the uh, the code, and then we make uh, a sparse map that we can use to define what happens when you click on it, and what use happens if we use the super mouse click as well. So the idea here is we'll create a tooltip down here over each one of those, and the tooltip will show this string here uh, that what the function is, what the key binding is and tell us to click on it to get the documentation or use super mouse click to find the function uh, in the code. Okay, let's go ahead and do this for the back tick notation as well. This one's pretty simple. Uh, here I just <clears throat> create the regular expression, the back tick. Here's a group for what's in between and the final quote here. This one is a little bit more subtle because you can do this on variables and functions. So we make sure that uh, we have either a variable or a function here. And then down here, if it's a function, we use describe function. Otherwise, we use describe variable. And similarly, we use the find function uh, code here. And down here, we have some small difference of whether it's a function or a variable uh, down here. OK, so those are two functions that just move the point finding uh, matches. Now we're going to wrap that into a minor mode that allows us to turn this on and off. And we'll call our minor mode Emacs Keybinding Command Tooltip Mode, which is kind of long, but it's OK. We add a little lighter so we know when it's on. And here we just add the uh, keywords uh, to font lock, or we remove them as it goes. OK, so now all we have to do is, is run this. Actually, I guess we should go up here and, and run each one of these. Okay, so now we've, we've run these, uh, and now we just turn this on. And now you can see that these are highlighted 
in red, and if I put my mouse over it, I see that this is control C, control X, control L. If I click on it, I get to the documentation, and if I use super click, which on the Mac is command, it actually takes me right to the definition of the code. Okay, here's another one, uh, just to give you an idea. Here is control C bracket. Uh, we can also do this for variables. This will tell me it's a variable. I can click on it and it will take me right directly to uh, the variable definition. Over here you can click on this to see where it's defined. All right, and this works as well. Uh, this we just run with Meta X Helm and we can click on this and see uh, all of the definitions up here and probably up here where I had that Rx before. Right here you can see, and we can click on this to get that definition as well. So that seems like a pretty good idea. If I uh, go back down and turn the mode off, all of that should disappear. minus one here and now they all disappear interestingly the text properties don't totally disappear I can still click on this uh, because I didn't have the local map and other thing and font lock properties so so this is a little bit of a, a sloppy mode in the sense that it does leave a few properties behind but I think it's not too big of a deal and I'm not uh, ready to modify this font lock extra manage properties just yet so anyway, that's it for, uh, for this post. It just gives you some idea of how to find patterns and then put properties on them uh, to do things that you find useful. That's it.